Three, two. What's up, YouTube? This is the Dave and Ed Show. I'm Dave. I'm Ed. And we're here to talk to you today about No Man's Sky. No, um, no Man's Sky, which is a little uh, United Kingdom group by the name of Hello Games that are going to be publishing this game on June 21st. I mean, everybody in the planet, they want to be Captain Kirk. They want to be, you know, Jean-Luc Picard, and they want to explore a massive universe. And you know what? They're going to be able to do it. It's going to be awesome. I mean, look at this. You're going to get in your ship, and you're going to take off, and you're going to be able to go out and explore how many planets, Dave? 18 uh, quintillion? Just, uh, just a little number. Just, just You can't even count that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You would die. So, the other thing is, is uh, from the developer, he says that basically you're not going to be able to even find anyone in this game because of the fact of its sheer size. There's so many planets out there, so many different possibilities. Um, you could run into, you know, just one planet that's just like Earth. You could run into several hundred million planets that are similar to Earth. But for each planet out there that's going to be like that, there's going to be a million more that are completely different. So many different random outcomes that you're going to run into um, and there's just no way to even to even get to all of them. And the thing is, it's just going to be for you. you can, you're you not going to even be able to go there with your buddy or anything else. It's going to be you. It's going to be your story. You're going to get to make your own story in this game and play it out any way you see fit. And, oh, the visuals. I mean, look, I, this is just really incredible. I mean, it, games that I've played in the past, that they've been visually appealing, sure, but nothing like this. This is, I mean, excuse the pun, this is out of this world. I mean, the quality, I mean, you're looking at those mountains over there. It's snowing here, and you can just see all the individual flakes as they go by. It's It's really crazy. But anyway, you guys are going to want to get your hands on this. The uh, pre-orders have already started. You can get it on Steam. Uh, you're going to want to uh, get this before it goes live on June 21st of this year, 2016. And let me tell you, you're going to want to make your own story and get out there and explore No Man's Sky. And if uh, PC gaming isn't your thing, um, it is going to be available on the PlayStation 4, I believe, at the same release date. Um, sorry for uh, Xbox One players, I don't think it's coming just yet, but with how incredible this game is going to be, I don't see why Microsoft wouldn't want to get their hands on it. Too. Absolutely. It's just, yeah, Microsoft would be silly not to do that. So. Look at all these planets. Yeah, this, so is, this is the Atlas, yeah. The Atlas, when you're just zooming through it, because you're going to, basically what's going to happen when you're out there and you're exploring things, you're going to be able to upload it to what they call the beacon. And a beacon is going to basically cartography the entire universe. But the only problem is, is it's so darn big, you're not going to cover everything. But it, it'll be interesting to see how that works out. And you know, they actually started off with only wanting to do, uh, I think it was a million planets. And at the time, they were, uh, I mean, the technology just wasn't there, but they got challenged. They said, you can't do a million planets. There's just no way. And so they gave it a couple years and came back and they said, nah. We'll do 18 quintillion instead. <laughs> I think that's 18 zeros or... Yeah 18, nine. yeah, 18 or something. And let me tell you, it's it's insane. Let's put it that way. They, the, the lead developer guy said that basically 99.9% .9 of the planets will go undiscovered. I mean, think about that. And can you even imagine along with that is how many different species of creatures and everything else. They say that... Uh, they're also going to have different ships out there as far as, you know, that you can create yourself and a crafting system. And the thing is, is they say of the possibilities for all the ships, they say we won't even reach like 7% of, of all the ships possible. I mean, that's just insane. You know, and, and I did the numbers for if it was just one quintillion planets, not 18, but one quintillion. If it was just one quintillion planets and every person on the planet played this game, it would take, um, so rounded down to the nearest billion, 7 billion people, it would take 140-something million planets for each person if they each uh, explored a different planet. And uh, a more realistic number is if uh, 
15 million people played, which was about uh, World of Warcraft's max number of users, um, it would take like 6 billion planets, uh, 6 billion different planets for each player to discover them all. It's just, there's just no way. Hey, anyway, well, we're going to wrap it up, guys. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this little video. Please leave a comment, like, subscribe, and uh, we will catch you next time because we are definitely going to be following this game and spending a lot of time in No Man's Sky. In fact, Dave and Ed are going to basically each do their own stories, and so we'll have, our, have links for that in the description when they start coming out on June 21st. We hope to see you all there. Yeah, stay tuned, guys. You'll be uh, in for some good stuff.